Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Instant Pot, the do-it-all marvel of the modern kitchen. And in this corner we have the Grizzled Veteran, the Crock Pot. It does one thing, but it does it well. Both of these are battling for space in your kitchen. Which should win your culinary heart? Keep on watching. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about cooking, cookware, and whatever else I can dream up to help you be a better cook. And yes, today we are doing a matchup for the ages. An Instant Pot versus a Crock Pot. Now before we get into their differences, I'm going to talk about their similarities because believe it or not, this new school model and this old school model actually have a few things in common. Okay, the first thing that these have in common is that they both cook the food in a pot. Now for the crock pot, it uses a stoneware pot. It's this big stoneware vessel. And in the instant pot, it uses a stainless steel bowl. Both of these bowls are removable for easy cleaning. Both of these are basically set it and forget it devices, which makes them really, really convenient. For the crock pot, you know, you just flip a switch and you turn it on. And for the instant pot, you know, you choose either a certain program or a certain time and it cooks your food. But both of these, they don't require, you know, any stirring or any minding of a stove. You basically just dump the food in, turn them on, and then it cooks the food. These also come in different sizes. These are pretty standard sizes. This is a six quart instant pot, and I believe this is about an eight quart crock pot, but you can also get them in smaller sizes. And for the crock pot, you can also get different shapes, like an oval shape. These also come from different brands, although both of them have a well-known brand. So for this electric pressure cooker, Instant Pot is pretty much the popular brand. That's what everybody knows. And for the slow cooker, Crock Pot is the name brand. But you can also buy different brands of electric pressure cookers like this, and you can buy different brands of slow cookers like this. But Instant Pot and Crock Pot are the formal brand names of these two. As I mentioned, both of these are also quite easy to clean too. You know, you just remove the inner pot when it is done cooking and you can clean it. Uh, both of these are dishwasher safe, so that makes it really convenient. And finally, both of these are widely available. You know, you can walk into like a Walmart or a Target and buy either of these, and they're also readily available online. Now let's talk about their differences starting with the crock pot and see if this is the one for you. Now, first of all, it's really easy to use. I mean, you just dump your food in and you know, if you can flip a switch, you can use a crock pot. Literally, it's like off or on. It is super, super easy to use. And secondly, I mean, it's pretty much foolproof. Like, like I say, you know, you dump your food in, you turn a switch, and you kind of let it do its thing. You do want to add some liquid for this, uh, just like you would with the Instant Pot, and that's what helps the cooking. But really, it's almost foolproof. And this is great for things like pot roast, stew, beans. Uh, it just it does a really nice job of cooking things over low, slow heat. Another difference with the crock pot is that these are less expensive. These are about half the price of an instant pot. So if you buy one of these new, you know, you might be looking at like 40 or $50 for a name brand like crock pot. You can get them even cheaper if you go with another brand, but these are less expensive. Whereas an instant pot, you know, if you're going with this brand, you're looking at at least a hundred dollars or so to get into a model like this. And finally, getting back to just the availability of these, I mean, you know, you can get crock pots even like at a grocery store. And another nice thing is that they are widely available used. If you walk into any thrift store, I can guarantee that you'll find two things. Questionable taste in clothing and a crock pot. In fact, that's where I got this one just last week. I picked this up for like 12 bucks. There was a whole array of crock pots at my local thrift store, both newer models and old vintage ones like this. 
Now let's talk about the Instant Pot and some of its differences and potential advantages for you. And the first and foremost is it's fast. Whereas a crock pot might take, you know, six or eight hours to cook a meal, the Instant Pot, because it's using pressure, it cooks faster. So it can cut the time to like a quarter of the time. I mean, if you're cooking beans in this like I did last week, it took hours and hours, something like eight or 10 hours. Whereas this, you know, you can go from start to finish in like a couple hours, maybe even less. It's a really, really big time saver. Secondly, it's really versatile. You know, there are different programs for this. This is actually an older model, so it doesn't even have as many as the newer models. But there are programs for this from everything from like cooking eggs and yogurt to like sterilizing things. This is a really, really versatile machine. Along those lines, it's also expandable. So for example, for this Instant Pot, I have an attachment that goes on top that turns it into an air fryer. And it does a really good job of air frying foods, of roasting foods, baking foods. So it doesn't just have to be a wet cooking type of machine. There's also different pots that you can get for this. Like for example, this is a non-stick pot that you can use instead of stainless steel if you wanted just even easier cleanup. Although to be frank with you, I find the stainless steel cleans up really, really easily. But this is available uh, if you want something even easier to clean or if you're making really sticky types of food. Now, as I said, one disadvantage of the Instant Pot is that it is pricier. You know, you are looking at like I say, about $100 to get into a name brand Instant Pot like this. Uh, you know, sometimes you can find them for a little bit less. Some models are more expensive just depending on how many features. But the good news is that these have been around long enough that I'm actually seeing these in the thrift store too. So, you know, if you do some careful shopping, you might be able to find either one of these in a thrift store. In fact, last week when I was in my local thrift, I saw a crock pot and an Instant Pot literally side by side. Now finally, uh, one potential disadvantage of the Instant Pot is that even though it's still pretty easy to use, some users might find it a little more complicated with all the different buttons and programs. But I think after just a little bit of practice, you know, you'll find something that works for you. It's really not that complicated, but it's certainly more complicated than, you know, just like turning a switch on a crock pot. Now, in reality, you might have both of these machines in your kitchen. You might have a crock pot that was handed down to you from a relative, and you might also have a newer apparatus like this Instant Pot. But let's say you're watching this video and you have to choose one of these. You can only have one. Which one should you buy? Well, I would say go with the Instant Pot. I think it's just, it's a whole lot more versatile, it's faster, and even though it costs a bit more money, I think it's really gonna uh, make it up in the long run. In fact, I bought this machine something like six or seven years ago, and I think in the first weekend of having it, I cooked enough meals for this thing to pay for itself. And one final thing to note is that if you really are a fan of slow cooking, you can do that in an Instant Pot. It actually has a slow cooker function. So this machine can actually replicate not just an Instant Pot, but other machines as well, like a rice cooker, and like I said, an air fryer if you get an attachment for it. So it really is an all-in-one machine that I think is a really good value for the money uh, no matter what you cook. So there you go, there's our comparison of the crock pot versus instant pot. I hope you found this helpful. Which one do you prefer? I would love to hear. And you can put that in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, keep on cooking.